Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy this story. I'm going to try and upload a new story each day. The Isle of White Phantom Philharmonic Holly stood at the edge of the stage, her heart pounding with excitement and trepidation. She was about to conduct the Isle of White Philharmonic Orchestra in a performance of the infamous Symphony of the Damned, a piece of music that had garnered a reputation for driving its composer to madness. The concert hall was packed with eager spectators, unaware of the darkness that lurked within the notes of the symphony. As Holly raised her baton, she couldn't shake the feeling of unease that crept over her. She glanced around at the orchestra members, noting the nervous energy that emanated from each of them. But there was no turning back now. The audience waited expectantly, their eyes fixed on her. Taking a deep breath, Holly began to conduct. The music swelled and filled the hall, its haunting melody echoing off the walls. But as the symphony progressed, Holly felt the chill run down her spine. There was something unnatural about the music, something sinister that seemed to seep into her very soul. As the final notes of the symphony rang out, Holly's heart sank. She realized too late what she had unleashed. The symphony was not merely a piece of music, it was a gateway to a spectral realm filled with the souls of the damned. Suddenly, the air grew thick with an otherworldly presence. Shadowy figures emerged from the darkness, their eyes glowing with malevolence. The audience gasped in horror as they realized they were no longer alone in the concert hall. Panic erupted as chaos descended upon the once serene setting. The orchestra members fled from their instruments, their faces contorted with terror. But Holly stood frozen in place, unable to tear her eyes away from the ghastly sight before her. In the midst of the chaos, a figure materialized before Holly. It was the composer of the Symphony of the Damned, his form twisted and distorted by the torment of the spectral realm. He spoke in a voice that shelled Holly to the bone, his words dripping with madness. You have unleashed forces beyond your comprehension, the composer hissed. Now, you must pay the price. With a wave of his hand, the composer cast a dark spell upon Holly, binding her soul to the spectral realm for all eternity. As the world around her faded into darkness, Holly realized the true horror of her folly. The Isle of White Phantom Philharmonic had claimed its latest victim, ensnaring her in its web of darkness and despair forevermore. And as the echoes of the Symphony of the Dan faded into the night, the souls of the Dan continued their eternal lament, trapped in a never-ending symphony of horror and torment. In the spectral realm, Holly found herself surrounded by a swelling maelstrom of darkness and despair. The air was thick with the anguished cries of the damned, their voices blending into a cacophony of torment that echoed endlessly throughout the shadowy landscape. Time seemed to lose all meaning in this cursed realm. Holly wandered aimlessly, her spirit weighed down by the oppressive atmosphere. Everywhere she turned, she encountered twisted apparitions and malevolent spirits, each one a reminder of the folly that had led her here. Desperate to escape, Holly searched for a way to break free from the spectral prison that held her captive. But the realm seemed to shift and twist around her, leading her further into its depths with each passing moment. As she journeyed deeper into the darkness, Holly stumbled upon a ghostly figure shrouded in mist. It was the spirit of the composer, his form flickering in and out of existence like a candle in the wind. With a hollow gaze, he regarded Holly with a mixture of contempt and pity. You sought to wield the power of the Symphony of the Damned, the composer intoned, his voice echoing through the void. But in doing so, you have become ensnared in its dark embrace. There is no escape from this realm, no redemption for those who dare to meddle with forces beyond their control. Holly's heart sank at the composer's words. She realized now the true extent of her folly. She had been drawn to the Isle of Wight by the promise of musical mastery, only to find herself trapped in a nightmare from which there was no awakening. But even in the depths of despair, a flicker of determination ignited within Holly's soul. She refused to surrender to the darkness that threatened to consume her. With every ounce of her being, she resolved to fight against the spectral forces that held her captive. Gathering her strength, Holly confronted the composer once more, her voice ringing out with a newfound resolve. I may be trapped in this realm, but I will not be its prisoner forever, she declared. I will find a way to break free from its grasp, no matter what it takes. The composer regarded Holly with a mixture of surprise and admiration. 
Perhaps there was hope for her, yet he mused, a glimmer of light amidst the endless darkness. With a solemn nod, he vanished into the mist, leaving Holly alone to face the trials that lay ahead. And so, with courage as her guide, Holly embarked on a journey through the spectral realm, determined to defy fate and reclaim her freedom. Though the path ahead was fraught with peril, she refused to falter, knowing that her destiny lay not in the hands of the damned, but in the strength of her own spirit. As the echoes of the symphony of the damned continued to reverberate through the shadows, Holly pressed forward, her resolve unshakable. For in the heart of darkness she had found a glimmer of hope, a beacon of light that would guide her through the endless night. And though the road ahead was long and treacherous, she would not rest until she had broken free from the Isle of White Phantom Philharmonic and emerged victorious against the forces of the spectral realm. With each step, Holly delved deeper into the ethereal landscape of the spectral realm. Shadows danced around her, whispering eerie melodies that seemed to seep into her very soul. Yet she pressed on, fueled by a determination born from the depths of her being. As she journeyed further, Holly encountered other lost souls, each one bearing the weight of their own tragic stories. Some had been drawn into the realm by their own curiosity, while others had been ensnared by the symphony's dark allure. Together, they formed an unlikely alliance, united in their quest to defy the spectral forces that held them captive. Guided by fragments of memory and whispers of ancient lore, Holly and her companions sought out the key to their salvation. They traversed through desolate landscapes and treacherous terrains, facing countless trials and tribulations along the way. Yet through sheer determination and unwavering resolve, they persisted, driven by the hope of a brighter future beyond the confines of the spectral realm. As they neared their goal, the darkness seemed to intensify, as if the very fabric of reality sought to thwart their efforts. But Holly refused to be deterred. With the strength of her spirit and the support of her companions, she pressed forward, her eyes fixed on the horizon, where salvation awaited. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, they reached the heart of the spectral realm, a towering citadel shrouded in darkness and despair. It was here, amidst the swirling shadows and haunting echoes, that the source of their torment awaited the malevolent entity that had bound them to this accursed place. With grim determination, Holly and her companions confronted the entity, their hearts ablaze with righteous fury. In a climactic battle that echoed through the halls of eternity, they waged war against the darkness, their spirits aflame with the hope of victory. In the end, it was Holly who delivered the final blow, channeling the power of her resolve into a mighty crescendo that shattered the entity's hold on the spectral realm. As the darkness receded, a blinding light pierced through the shadows, illuminating the citadel with a brilliance that banished the darkness once and for all. With a triumphant cry, Holly and her companions emerged from the spectral realm, their souls finally free from the shackles of the Isle of White Phantom Philharmonic. As they stepped back into the world of the living, they knew that their journey was far from over, but they faced the future with courage and determination, knowing that they had triumphed over darkness itself. And though the echoes of the symphony of the damned still lingered in their minds, they knew that they would never again be consumed by its haunting melody. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this story. Please don't forget to like and even better like and subscribe. Thank you very much and I hope you have had or have a great day.